Alright, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Gene Forge 2. Here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. We're here again in Dry Peak, of course. And last episode, if you recall, we finished clearing out the Dry Peak mines. Pretty good. I thought we did a good job. Let's see. What do we have on the ground? Oh, yes, the Chilling Band, the Shielding Band, Mine Crystal, Venom Thorns, Wiry Moss, a bunch of Sheeper equipment, there's candles, Mine Crystal. We went also and got a bunch of upgrades from Tialia. Finish upgrading our Thod power. <laughs> the levels that we can buy from him, anyways. The levels that we could purchase, anyways. And we got a bunch of magic as well. All the magic he can teach. And then I was like debating whether I would like to learn how to make Artillas better. I don't know. I was saying maybe we wouldn't do it, but I don't know. Maybe maybe we will. I'm not sure. But we need more money. And for this episode, I think what we need to do is start to explore over in the Salt Marsh. However, it is said to be the most dangerous of the areas by that farmer Bran. And so I wonder if it... And he recommended us talking to Cyphar. A dude who lives um, to the west of the mines. So let's go check this Cypher dude out. Alright, so. The sign says Cypher is far north, Dry Peak Mines east. So we're in the right place. Oh, there's an orc. What's this? Treasure chests, some thorns and venom thorns. Let's take them. Very good. Ooh, more. Well, we don't need the regular javelins. We'll take the steel javelins, though. And some more iron bars. Jeez. We're probably already over encumbered. Oh, by a huge margin. Yes. <laughs> ah. Hello, Ork. Nothing nearby. We'll just explore this area. I don't think there's any enemies out here. There are the mines where we explored and defeated those powerful artillery and gods. Try to mines on the obelisk. <laughs> those orcs sound like they're enjoying their food, meager though it might be. Oh, there's a, a servile. Servile. This tired and scared servile is at work in the fields. Being around rogues is very upsetting to serviles, and it takes a lot of work to keep them under control. You try to talk to the servile, but you don't learn much. They generally are simple creatures. Well, you know, such is life. Cyphar's farm to the north. Those must be Cyphar's crops and Cyphar's orcs. Now we heard from Bran that Cyphar is a good swordsman, so better even than him. And he was able to at least kill Fioras, Bran was, so we'll see. And there's some meal, but we're not taking his grain. That's a jerk move. What happens if we go out here? Do we open anything else up? And it just goes over to the salt marsh. All right. So let's actually go over here. It looks like that maybe this is the farm building. It's dug into the mountainside. That's interesting. And there's the farmer. This farmhouse is a burrow. It has been excavated from the rock in the cliff face, no doubt using servile labor. No doubt. I mean, why do it yourself when you can make your slaves do it? Cyphar. You meet the owner of this farmhouse. Not surprisingly, he spends a lot of his time armed. He must be a very determined person to keep running his farm out here, considering what's been happening. He looks surprised when you walk in. A shaper? Out here? That's a pleasant surprise. I'm glad to see you. I'm Cyphar. Welcome to my home. Okay, so why are you still out here? This is my land. I'm not going to give it up just because of some rogues. 
They're not so tough. I'm pretty good with a sword. I'm not going to pretend it's been easy, but I'm surviving. Okay, so how are you doing running this farm? Our crops are as good as anyone's around here, and you know how little that means. The rogues have learned to leave me alone or get punished. My main problem is keeping the serviles in control. Yep, yep, they're scared of the rogues. What is happening with the serviles? They're terrified. Rogues scare them and really scare them, even though I'm here to protect them. I have the tools to keep them in line, though. Sometimes I have to be a little harsh, but it's necessary. You know what? Um, this is the same question coming up over and over again. That seems cruel, especially since the servile did not choose to stay with you. I mean, yeah, that seems obvious to somebody, perhaps, but Lucian's been raised in this Shaper society, even if he's sympathetic to serviles. Uh, he can see, perhaps, I mean, there's dangerous rogues. I mean, what if they just go running off like the ones that have? All those ones that have run off are probably going to die. Really, it's... But on the other hand, you should do what you have to do. Sometimes serviles need a strong hand to control them. He's not going to say that either, so he's just going to say nothing. Sometimes silence is the better part of discretion. <laughs> what can you tell me about this area? South of here, there's a forest, and I haven't been in there much. There's a lot of nasty creations in there. It's not rogue, but not rogues. They've left me alone when I went there, but they still make me nervous. That's Sharon's Grove. East of here is the mines. It's a mess in there, be careful. Not anymore, it isn't. And west of here is a wasteland. There's a lot of rogues out there, and they're all nasty. I could handle them, but there's it's always a tough fight. Too tough. Well, what's beyond that wasteland? I don't know. No idea. Never met someone who's been out there. Do you think you could help me get past that wasteland? That's tough. I'd like to, Shaper. I'd like to do anything that would help you me to help that would help you help us. My farm need, needs looking after though. I should stay here. Hmm. And how well will your farm do when the rows get worse? This may be your last chance to help eliminate them. He's not pleased to hear it, but your logic convinces him. This will be costly, Shaper, but if I could have helped eliminate the plague and didn't, I would not deserve to be forgiven. Go west, and when you get there, I will meet you in the wasteland. Oh wow, that's cool. So here, Cypher is going to help us. Alright. That's it. So, when we go, let's see, 30 health, he'll be stronger when he gets out there. He's not weak. Okay, this must be the servile quarters. He has only two serviles. He's a master of a small world, if you like. Uh, no, we're not taking his food. There's an interesting book called uh, Masters of Small Worlds about those people who owned like very small amounts of numbers of, sla of slaves or slave workers, however you want to call them. And um, it's an interesting thing and how they were both socially like and socially distinct from the large plantation owners who had numerous slaves and or slave, enslaved workers. And it's an interesting look at that. Oh, there they are. Whips, shackles. So whips too, and sh yeah. I don't know. Let's just go um, shut that right quick. Nothing's going on in here. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Does he have a magic book? We just sold his money. We're not doing anything, don't worry. Let's save right quick. What is this magic book? This is a spell book. Cypher seems to be trying to teach himself some magic. Since he is not studying shaper arts, this is legal. You flip through the book, hoping to find something interesting. You quickly digest the contents of the book, and you now know how to cast the spell Seer. Right, so let's see. Do we already know that? See, no! Alright, well, I'm going to reload. I know this is really gamey, but um, it's because of a glitch or a bug that we have to do that. So, there is level a level of Seer, which is a more powerful acid or poison spell. So, once we get two levels of it, we can come back here and get a third level. Alright, um... 
Now it's interesting. He's studying magic, but he's not studying shaping, so it's legal. You're gonna later on in the Gene Forge series, that's gonna get retconned. Now you could say maybe maybe the shapers change the rule later on when things get more stressed to make it such that they do not even allow that, but I don't know, I think it's just kind of a retcon that that you know they don't allow people to study magic whatsoever without being specially authorized. Then you say maybe he was authorized. I doubt it. I think they just sort of the maker of these games kind of alters the script and a couple of the, the retcon some stuff. For instance, there's like supposed to be like two continents the shapers have control. Let's sell the iron bars already. And later on, there's just one. Of course, there's kind of two sections of that continent. Terrestria is like one of the continents that the shapers control, and then later on, it's just Terrestria. But, you know, you could say, um, I wonder if Shanti would say anything if we told her what we've seen so far. Probably not. <laughs> But let's just go talk to her right quick. We won't take... Oh, we have a lot of healing pods. Maybe I'll drop some pods off to lower our carry weight. Some. And nope, nothing. Alright. Let's just go in here. We'll put these pods right here. And these venom thorns as well. Let's um, pick up eight of them and drop them. Bamsis. Very good. And let's get going. She's like, don't come back until you have something to report. Fine, fine. We're going to have something. Don't you worry, Shanti. Don't worry, you're pretty. She's like, don't say it. Like, don't worry. We got you. We got you. You're with Lucian, you know? Lucian. Did we increase our leadership? I think we did, right? Why don't we? I have an idea. Let's go back to the crags right quick. We'll stop by, see if we can't recruit this Thod right here. That was a stray Thod. Maybe we can get him to help us out as well in this, this area. He's going to die or go rogue. Or even get killed by Bran. Once he goes rogue, he's going to come out here and attack the serviles. Bran's going to kill him. And then it'll be kind of sad that you know he died for nothing, basically. So much work. We still haven't told him that about his servile that we found. That <laughs> I still think Lucian's not dumb to tell him, I, I killed him. He should have said, I couldn't find him. All right, Rogue, why don't you come with me? You try to convince the Thaw to join you. It takes a fair amount of will to exert control over another's creation, but your leadership abilities are strong enough to overwhelm it. Yes, Shaper, be good, be good, Thaw, be serve. Punch, punch, serve, serve, punch. The creature was clearly lonely and confused, not to mention hungry, and it eagerly moves to your side. All righty. Well, do you want some food? Do I have any food to give him? Eh, once we have some food, we'll give him some food. Alrighty, there he is. Abandoned Thod. What should we name him? Can't be just called Abandoned Thod. You need a name there, dude. Um. Let's see, he was a lone Thod as it flying on the ice. Hmm. <laughs> uh, man, what's what's a good name for a lone thought? Use. I know. We'll call him Diogenes. There we are. <laughs> it kind of looks like he was living kind of like Diogenes. <laughs> he was a thought out looking for an honest shaper. <laughs> of course, there are no such things as honest sheep. I'm just kidding. Of course. Let's see if we can tell Brand this news. He's not gonna like it. Let's say, in case he tries to attack us. He won't. That would be completely crazy. Um, here's the bad news, dude. 
Use chats while weeding his meager crops. Your servile was rogue and I had to kill it. It totally attacked me with a butter knife. He's clearly upset by this, but he does his best to hide it. That's too bad, but I'm not surprised. Whatever a shaper says is best. Sorry. Oops. <laughs> yeah, he's not happy about that. I mean, why would he be? Well, we got some experience. Hmm. Well, I wonder what happens if you return the thought. Uh, I mean, return the, the servile. I don't know. I don't know. It's awfully close to dangerous places. So let's actually um, go out here. Now let's go back to the western mines. Now we either meet him so far here or we have to meet him. I think we I, I know we, we have to meet him over here in the salt marshes. So let's go over here. But now we have another thought to join us. Diogenes. Meet along with Bluto and Tugger. <laughs> Lucy. <laughs> Flame Tooth and Snap. Oh, that's funny. Let's go. Let's go. Now this guy... Diogenes. AI. Active. On. See. It's always on. We cannot... Control him. And he's way lower level. Oh, jeez. Look at that. Well, he's only one level lower than... Oh my goodness, there's this... Claw bug. We. <laughs> Scary. Oh my goodness, we're totally gonna get wrecked. Um. Let's, uh. War Blessing. Ooh! Very good. Very good. Go, Flame Tooth, go. Oh, good job, freaking Diogenes. <laughs> Man, okay, yes, this area is full of... What do you call it? Claw bugs and roamers. Very dangerous place. Alright, cool, let's... Go talk to Cypher, who was just watching us for some reason. This valley full of marshy lands is so useless and unpleasant that Dry Peak hasn't made the slightest effort to settle it. The weedy, wiry trees have been able to spread out here, but nothing else has. The region's not, the region's not lifeless, though. You can see rogues wandering around in the woods, and there are tracks everywhere. It looks like there are roamers and claw bugs out there, and that is unusual. Those are much more dangerous rogues than what you've encountered before in a much less habitable area. You wonder what makes this place special. I'm sure we're going to find out. Cypher walks up to greet you. You're pleased to see he was good to his word and met you here. Glad you finally made it. It's finally time to push these foul little creatures back a bit. It's good to be back up, to be backed up by a shaper for once. I'll let you pick the approach. The worst of them are up to the northwest. I'd be careful though. If you go too forward too fast, we'll just get swarmed. All right. That's enough advice from you. Just follow my lead and kill. You're just a hired sword. We didn't hire him. Maybe he knows something though. Because he's lived out here for a long time, and we are, you know, we, we're not unexperienced like what's his face, Evodius, but you know, we, we don't need to be so arrogant. If you were leading, which of course you're not, because you're not a shaper, but if you were, how would you approach? Cypher seems surprised that a shaper would ask for his advice, and he seems eager to give it though. I would stick to the edges of the valley, he points north. I would go up along the north wall. I have been scouting. There seems to be less rogues up that way. Not none, but less. Also, in a fight, any blessing or healing or other spells you can cast to help me would help. Or a spell to speed me up. That would be great. Alrighty. Let's kill some rogues. Alrighty, let's look at Cypher. 125 hit points. He is a strong dude when he it up properly. Let's go. Let's actually save We'll do what he suggests. We'll skirt the walls first. Is he coming? Yes, he is. Clear the valley! Okay, yep. Let's do what we do best. Amping everyone up with War Blessing. Oh, it ran away! 
Come back here, coward! Oh, darn it. Just take a look. Doesn't look like there's much over there. You come around this way. Tugger. Okay, oh, there's a nest right there. Can you hit? No, you cannot. Alright, Flame Tooth, just watch out. Snap, you come over here with Tugger. Okay, Lucian. Um, you come over this way. And let's cast protection over the most people. Can you get him? No, you cannot. That's great. Just chill right there. You get right here and fire! Good shot there, Flame Tooth. Now snap you, be careful. Not bad, not bad. He's a lot lower level. So you can't expect him to do as well. Can I get him? Yeah! 37 experience. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, I like, uh, fire! No! No, it's just my fire. Okay. Nope, nothing. Okay, let's look this way. There's a lot of dangerous stuff out here. And not just claw bugs and... Ooh, there's a roamer. There's other things too. Very dangerous things. Alright, let's um pull it together. There's a robe and a shielding pod. Very nice. And 20 coins. Clear the valley! Okay, wow. He was definitely right. There's not much in the way of rogues up this way. Oh, there is a friggin' turret. And there's a roamer. Jeez Louise. Okay, let's, um... More blessing. Oh, I wish we could do more than that. Can you... Can you hit this tur No, you cannot! Yes, you can! Oh, good job, good job. Okay, let's look this way. What's down here besides this dude? There's another roamer. Oh, there's another turret. Dang, blasted. Okay, get up close. Now you, kill that turret. Very good, very good. Oh. Ow. No. Oh. Dodging is getting himself killed. Just snap, alright, snap. You. Good shot, good shot. Cypher, I need you to help, buddy. Um, let's... More blessing. Oh, we didn't get freaking Diogenes. No, I think he's not going to survive. Okay. What the heck? A hostile servile with a sword named Becca? Well, maybe it's misunderstanding. Oh, there's a freaking claw bug right there, too. Oosh. Okay. Got the turret, very good. He needs to be healed, he needs to be healed. Very good. 